What's up, Vikings fans? This is Chris Corso here with the Vikings' newest quarterback, and that is Nate Stanley out of the University of Iowa. These, these Vikings fans probably know you pretty well, not in the, uh, the good way, <laughs> because a lot of them are Minnesota Gopher fans. So uh, what was it like just playing in Minnesota in college, and now you get to play for the Minnesota Vikings? Yeah, um, you know, obviously playing in Minnesota, they've got great facilities up there. Um, you know, in, in a great program, you know, Coach Fleck has done a great job with them. And, and you know, it was always awesome to come play, you know, up in Minnesota and then play them in Iowa City, too, because they were always close games and always hard-fought games, for sure. Yeah, speaking of, of awesome games, you were 9-0 and against the Gophers, Iowa, and I, uh, Iowa State, and Wisconsin in college, which is just awesome because all those teams had competitive uh, programs as you were – your uh, three years at, at the University of Iowa. So what is it about these big games that you just step up and play really well in? Yeah, uh, well, it was Nebraska, not Wisconsin. I, I don't want anybody Nebraska, to, sorry. Yeah. to come <laughs> out on that. Um, no, I, I mean, I think one is it's just, you know, all the, always those rivalry games, those are huge games, especially when you play in college. Um, you know, they're, they're kind of like your divisional games, but, um, you know, it, it's just awesome. I think something about the fans, you know, is awesome. That gives us that extra energy. Um, you, and that's one thing, too, about playing Minnesota is those fans are crazy. So, um, you know, it's, all, it's always awesome to play in those games because of the fans, the environment. Um, you know, everything that surrounds the games really make it what it is, I think. Yeah, so speaking of those fans, you got to give them something, give them something to, to support you now. So. You, you definitely, you definitely probably enjoyed playing against them, but now you're you're playing for those fans. <laughs> yeah, of course. Um, you know, hopefully they don't hate me too much. Um, <laughs> which, uh, you know, I I know I I think that they'll welcome welcome anybody that's on their team with open arms for sure. Um, you know, great people. I grew up not too far away from Minneapolis, so um, you know, a lot of people from my hometown are are Vikings fans, and and they're. They're diehard fans through and through. So, um, you know, I'm excited to, to get up to Minneapolis and, and then, um, you know, show everybody what I can do. Yeah, so growing up in Wisconsin, you were not just a star quarterback in high school. You were also a hoops player as well as a baseball player. So what was that dynamic like, just playing a ton of different sports? And, and I think you had, like, a school record on the hardwood, just scoring, like, over 1,300 points in high school. Yeah, um, you know, growing up, sports was my life, really. So, um, you know, I was, I was a part of the, the high school football program as a ball boy when I was in kindergarten through seventh grade until I started playing tackle football. And then same with basketball. My dad was the head coach um, since I was born until I was in fourth grade, I think. So, um, you know, I was always around sports. Just that competitive nature was always in me, um, you know, because it was forced to be, um, you know, and something that I really enjoy. Um, you know, so it's it's awesome to get to play sports. You know, you get to interact with a bunch of different groups of people. Uh, one, because you're playing against, you know, every single school in your conference and every sport, you know, you get to meet new kids. And then also, too, within your own school, uh, you know, I had different friend groups depending on what, what sport it was. You know, it was always fun to, to you know, branch out and, and meet new people and, and become friends with, with more than just, you know, that one sports friends, you know. Going back to your career at the University of Iowa, you won 27 games. I mean, that's a lot of games in the Big Ten. What was it like going up against that quality of, of defenses, playing the Michigans of the world, and really putting up some really good numbers for the University of Iowa? Yeah, uh, you know, one, I think it just it prepares you well for playing in the NFL. Um, you know, I, I want to say my, my sophomore year, my first year starting, I think the first six games of the year, we saw six totally different, like, defensive schemes. It was nuts. Like, my my offensive coordinator was like, I've never seen anything like this. Because every single team had, like, a specific package or, or different things that they would do. Um, so, you know, I definitely think that I got exposed to a lot of different defensive systems and schemes that, that can help me, uh, you know, translate to the NFL. So, um, you know, in college, there wasn't much that I didn't see you know, thankfully playing in the Big Ten and then in those bowl games where we played, um, you know, ACC, SEC, and then Pac-12 schools. Um, you know, it, it was awesome experience and, you know, really thankful for my time at Iowa that, and it's helped me prepare well for the NFL. 
speaking of some competition, a big bowl game was against USC this year, and you played mm-hmm. outstanding in that game. Tell the, tell the Vikings fans just how that game really I mean, it was your last showing in, in college, and you showed out pretty well. It definitely probably helped your draft stock a little bit. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, playing playing a marquee opponent like that, it's always it's always special to to get to play in those games. Um, but you know that the the time you get from the from the last game of the season to the bowl game, you know, is a month, a month and a half. So it, it's you can spend that time as wisely as you want, or you can can kind of waste waste a lot of it. So. Um, you know, my big thing when I was a starter was always, you know, do everything you can to, to be totally prepared for those games. Um, there's no reason why you shouldn't have seen their film, you know, 10, 15, 20 times for every situation that you're going to be in. So, um, you know, that's kind of the attitude I took going into this year too for that game and, and, um, you know, really just did everything I could to, to try to help my team you know, the, the whole, the whole game was, was an awesome game. Our defense played extremely well. Uh, you know, they had a high powered offense, um, you know, with, with uh, some of those receivers and then the quarterback that they had. Um, so our defense played well, our special teams had a kick return for a touchdown, which was huge. Um, and then again, I think just, just those fans, man, they, they travel well to all of our bowl games and it was awesome. You know, I think with, with USC being, what an hour and a half from San Diego. I think we had just as many fans there as they did. So, um, you know, it was an awesome, awesome experience and a great bowl game. Another game I want to talk about from your college career was the game when you beat the Gophers at Iowa. And every, every Gopher fan knows that that team has not won many games in Iowa in the recent past at all. So how much did that mean to you to win that big game at the end of the season right before the bowl game? Yeah, um, you know, it's always huge to go into that postseason game, you know, on a high note. Um, you know, I think we had one more game, one or two more games after that point. But, um, you know, we had we had lost a couple of close games and we, and we needed needed that game to to kind of propel us and, and help us. So, um, you know, whenever we play, you know, Minnesota, um, Iowa State or Nebraska, those rivalry games are, are are huge for us. It's, it's awesome to, to win for your teammates that are the, from those states. Um, you know, and it's, it's extremely special because one, there's so much more intensity and passion in those games. Not saying there's not passion in the other games, but it almost yeah. seems to be amplified a lot. Um, and it's just awesome to, to be able to win those games because they are huge momentum builders and, and can help carry you through, you know, one or two or three more games, um, which is awesome. And then, Obviously, just being able to celebrate with your teammates after the game, you know, hold up that trophy. Uh, that trophy is heavy. It's super heavy. And to be able to, to hold it up, you know, with your teammates, it's, it's awesome. Um, you know, taking pictures after the game, it, it's something special and, and definitely memories that, that I'll have for the rest of my life. So we got a chance to speak to one of your biggest fans a few weeks ago, and that's Vikings offensive coordinator, Gary Kubiak. I think he knows a thing or two about quarterbacks and developing uh, the quarterback position. So what has it been like working with Gary and, and maybe talk about your interactions uh, throughout the, the draft process? Yeah. So um, on the way to the combine, I flew from, from Cedar Rapids, Iowa to Minneapolis and then Minneapolis, to Indianapolis. I was on the same flight with, with the Viking staff. So I talked to, to coach Kubiak. I talked to Clint Kubiak, his son, before we got on the plane to go to Indianapolis, which was awesome. Wow. I think it was really cool to just kind of interact with them before everything started getting crazy down in Indianapolis. And, and um, you know, hopefully I, I gave them a good first impression, which I think I did. Um, but then, yeah, just being in meetings with Coach Kubiak, um, it's, it's been awesome because he knows so much about football. And there's so many things, so many insights that he has that can help somebody or can – can help you see things a different way that you might might have not thought of before. Be like, oh yeah, that that helps a lot. Like that's that's a new way to think about it, and I that's better than the way that I was thinking about it. Um, so he, he obviously knows a lot about football, um, you know. And I think I have a pretty cool connection with him because my freshman year at Iowa, my offensive coordinator and quarterbacks coach was Coach Kubiak's coach in college. Um, coach Greg Davis which was which was awesome um, you know I, I think he I, mentioned that he said he talked yeah. to a few of the staff at Iowa <laughs> about you yeah so um, you know obviously being there with coach Davis and and um, 
you know, him recruiting me, I think that was, that was also helpful because, you know, I don't think they would have recruited me if they didn't like me, they didn't like me as a person. So um, definitely an extra, extra, um, you know, person that they could call on to, you know, see who I as who I am as a person and, and then, um, you know, help just build that relationship. So it's been awesome so far. Um, you know, now we're done with, with off season uh, meetings and stuff. So, um, you know, in, in that month and a half, two months that we were meeting four or five times a week, um, you know, it, it was really good, um, you know, really productive. And I think I've learned a lot about this offensive system and, and just about football in general. Yeah, you ended up on the same flight as into the combine. I think you're you're meant to be a Minnesota Viking. <laughs> yeah, me too. Me too. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, I heard a little rumor that growing up in Wisconsin, you grew up a Chicago Bears fan, and and I, I hope that's changed by now. <laughs> oh yeah, that's that's out. That was out the window. Uh, the second I got that phone call from the from the Vikings, so. Um, yeah, my, my dad grew up in Illinois, um, probably about an hour and a half away from Chicago. So growing up, you know, the Bears and the Cubs were, were what was on TV. Um, so I don't know if you can tell, but there's a Brian Urlacher bobblehead right there. That's my, right, dad's, my, my dad's favorite players ever. Um, you know, and although he's a Chicago Bears fan, you know, he's going to be a Hall of Famer. So I figured it's okay to leave it up. Um, but, yeah, I mean, that's, that's just what was on TV, um, you know, in – my dad, obviously being that, that um, you know, role model in, in sports for me, you know, that's something I just latched on to as a kid. Um, you know, so I was, I was a Bears fan, but I was a fan of, you know, what, whatever quarterback was the best, best of the best. So, you know, guys like Peyton Manning, Tom Brady, um, you know, Brett Favre, those guys, you know, were, were, were kind of my, my role models growing up and, and people that I'm trying to mold my game after. Yeah, going back, um, kind of, just just growing up and you're so close to Minnesota. Did did you visit Minnesota at all as a kid um, before you played there as a college athlete? So they always had seven on seven tournaments uh, with Coach Kill. And when I was in high school, uh, we always, I don't know how we got invites to these seven on seven tournaments. I don't know if our <laughs> coach was working some magic or what, but we always ended up playing at the, the Vite, or the, excuse me, the Gophers practice facility in seven on seven tournaments. Um, at least once a summer. So we would play there. Um, I played a lot of AAU basketball over in the cities. Um, so, I, yeah, I mean, I think most of my interaction in Minneapolis and the Gophers in general was was through 7-on-7 seven seven football. Um, but then, you know, Minneapolis being, being uh, you know, kind of the, the metro, metropolitan area that it is, a lot of shops, you go over there, you know, on a Saturday, uh, Mall of America did that a couple times growing up. Um, went to a few um, Twins games, uh, you know, which was always fun. So, yeah, I had a I had a lot of a lot of times where I'd go over there, spend a day or two, um, you know, shopping, going to going to Twins games. Um, I never went. Actually, my sophomore year of college, I went to the Vikings Bears game on New Year's New Year's Day. Um, oh wow! Bikes, bikes got after them pretty good, uh, you know, which is which is awesome. So that was my first experience with um, the new stadium over there. But then, you know, I, I'd go to Twins games in the Metrodome when I was little, and then obviously uh, Target Field when I was a little bit older. So yeah, I've definitely spent some time over in Minneapolis, and, and it's a great place. So your dad's a big fan of Brian Urlacher, but I know a linebacker that plays for the Vikings or played for the Vikings. That was a big time athlete at the University of Iowa, and that's that's Chad Greenway, who we also got a chance to speak to um, last week, and he's like, "I am so happy the Vikings drafted Nate Stanley." Yeah, um, you know, I, I've never actually I met him. He was an honorary captain for us two or three years ago. Um, I can't I can't remember exactly, but yeah, he's a great guy. Um, I've met him, talked to him, um, you know. So I know he had a great career. Uh, uh, you know, in Minneapolis, and, and I'm excited to, you know, be one of those next players from Iowa to the Vikings. You know, hopefully I can make a name for myself and, you know, have a career like him. I heard that you were the highest uh, scorer on the Wonderlick out of all the quarterbacks. You scored like a four. Is that like, did you get like a perfect score on that test? So I, I, I got a 40 on it. Um, a perfect wow. score would be a 50. But it's, it's 12 minutes to answer 50 questions. Um, so you get like, it's like 12 seconds of question to answer. Um, 
So it's, it's, um, you know, it's tough. I know some teams put more stock into it than others. Um, you know, so I, I mean, academics was always a big focus for, for me as a kid. Um, not only is my dad a, a coach, but he was a teacher at the high school in my hometown too. So, um, you know, it was always academics first because, you know, without academics, you're not able to play sports. Um, so that was always stressed for me as a kid. Um, you know, and, Clearly. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, so, you know, it's, it's kind of transferred over and, in, in, you know, into my study habits in college. And then, um, you know, obviously with, with more practice, you know, you can, can be able to think and, and get through those questions a lot faster. Um, but yeah, thankfully I, I did well on it. You know, I, I don't think that, that, hurt my draft stock by any means so um you know definitely doing well on it I think helped me a little bit so the Vikings starting quarterback Kirk Cousins one of the things that that I love that he does the most is right after the Vikings players are drafted he reaches out to them right away and welcomes them, welcomes them to the team I think he did that with you as well yeah he did um yeah I think it was I can't remember if it was that night or or the next morning but um you know I, I had a text from him and congratulating me and then um you know he he you know shared some personal stories you know about him and his family he I think his mom he told me went to the University of Iowa so he had some connections to university which he shared with me and then um yeah just congratulated me and then you know throughout the next next two or three days Jake and Sean both reached out to me and congr congratulated me as well so yeah I definitely had a had a warm welcome to the to the team and um, you know, just excited to get to work with those guys and, and, um, you know, when we're able to, uh, you know, obviously, yeah. um, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to get to work with, with those guys. And then coach Clint and, and, and coach Kubiak, you know, when things get going again. Yeah. What, what have those meetings been like with Kirk? I know he brings like special guests into the meetings and, and he's been having a little fun with it. Tell the Vikings fans a little bit about those quarterback room virtual meetings. Yeah, so it's it's always a good time. It's always fun. He he's a funny guy, um, you know. And then he he brought on um, Sir V, who's a huge Vikings fan. He's he's the guy that that covers his whole body in paint. Um, you know, wears the the helmet. You know, the shoulder pads with the spikes on them. You know, a huge or a huge Vikings fan. Um, you know, so I think it was sir v lives like 10 or 15 minutes away from his parents do in orlando or something like that <laughs> he's down visiting his parents and um you know he asked him to, to come on so um you know that was that was awesome um you know just to interact with him and and um you know see what what vikings nation is all about and, and how passionate they are yeah last question here i i was checking out some of the the analysis on you coming out of iowa and the Todd McShays of the world, the Matt Millers of Bleacher Report, the Daniel Jeremiah's, they, they all have great things to say about you. And they, they bring up the Tom Brady comparison, being a Big Ten guy, a, a big-sized quarterback, a smart quarterback um, who made great decisions in the pocket and played well in, in big games in college. So what do you have to say about that comparison? That's, it's, been, it's, it's floating around a little bit. Yeah, you know, anytime you're compared to somebody like that, you know, it, it's, it's extremely flattering. And, and... Um, but you know, it, it's only comparisons at this point. Um, you know, now it's up to me to, to go out there and show what I can do. Um, you know, and obviously Tom Brady went into his career with a chip on his shoulder. Um, you know, being picked 244, I, I've got a chip on my shoulder. I promise you that. Um, so I'm going to do everything I can to, to, you know, make a name for myself and, and help the team along the way. Well, you're definitely a, a well-rounded guy playing a bunch of sports and, and scoring 40 out of 50 on the Wonderlick test. So. Um, great to get to know you, and, and hopefully we'll see you back at the facility pretty soon. Yeah, I appreciate it.